Welcome back to Tactics Talk with Guido. I have a replay here submitted by Amerikafka in his Amex M4 49 in a 357. He's bottom tier and he's going to do something critical to helping his team win this game. He's going to do something critical to helping his team as a bottom tier tank, something that a lot of people will whine about. So let's see how this plays out and you tell me when you figure out what it is he did to help his team win. So they're on Arctic region. He spawned up there in the northeast and he is headed down here to the south brawling area with his heavy, which I like. This is a great spot for a heavy to go, even a bottom tier heavy, especially with the setup that they have. None of those things he's facing is especially tough armor wise. Looks like he's got a, a 103 and eh, okay, a tortoise. Tortoise is probably not going to be down here. The object might have run down here, but we'll see. And he comes around here immediately and helps his team by destroying the charioteer and that big gun. Now he's got an STA-1, an STB, which has been hammered. There's an OHO right there, and he's got quite a few friends. So he's looking like he's in pretty good shape. There's no arty to bother him, so he's going to come around this corner, put his front armor right to the STA-1, and oops, a little over-ankled. So watch out for that there, Marikovka. Yeah, had you come in there a little straighter and he wasn't able to put his shot into the side of your tank, you probably would have bounced that shot. Or at least had a much better possibility of doing it. Puts a shot into the STA-1. Here goes the IS-3. IS-3 eats a shot. STA-1's actually got some pretty good pen. And Marikovka comes in here a little bit, getting a little crazy with the aiming there. And he's able to hit the STA-1. You did have an option to shoot the STB, but he wasn't quite looking at you at that point. You did miss an option to put a shot in him earlier because instead of going to sniper mode and snapping one off there you actually went to auto aim but you get the job done and it was actually serendipitous that you tracked him where you did because he couldn't quite get his gun down onto the is3 now we're going to come up here and we're going to auto aim this this oho and i'm going to say goodness gracious do not do this do not do that don't auto aim that guy go ahead and zoom in and as you come up and over get your gun on him and find the closest weak spot you can find with exposing the minimum amount of your tank. If you auto aim him, it's going to go center of mass, which on, in this case is actually going right at that very thick, highly angled upper plate. And you're gonna have to expose more of your tank. I'd have come in here and looked for the side with your gold round, the side of that guy's turret right to the side of the matlet and taken that shot because look what you got here. You got an RHM, God knows what's up on the sniper hill up there. So auto aiming him and exposing as much of your tank as you did is not a great idea. In addition to that, you're kind of coming at everybody sideways right there. So watch out for that. You can see that his team is in good shape. They're winning by a couple tanks. But he's in this kind of problematic spot here. He's got several guys staring at him from up there, big TDs. The same thing applies here as far as in sniper mode coming over. A little bit better job executing that. and He'll get a shot into the RHM. So he's looking at what's going on. He's got four or five tanks here. There's a Uds, there's a Low, there's an IS-3, a JT. But he notices something's going on on the other side of the map. So let's take a look. You can already see what he's kind of thinking. Take a look at the map and say, say to yourself what you would do here. And what Amerikafka is going to do is he is going back. Because several of my latest videos I have talked about if you want to improve your win rate easily, let's call it easily, almost automatically, if you win your flank and the other flank loses, or if you get stagnated on a flank and your other flank loses, go back to cap. If you do that, you can easily add 5% to your win rate if you're around the 50% win rate kind of guy. So he's going to come up here. Gets his gun shot. I'd fix my gun right there. I want that accuracy. He's going to come up here as well, and i got it going a little faster than I want to. And he's working this point right here. I don't know if you noticed this, Marikovka, but right here, that rise is a little bit steep. If you'd have come to the right slightly, you wouldn't have been having the front of your tank jacking up so much because you had a little bit of trouble getting your gun on the huge right there. That is one of those micro-positioning decisions. Just a small thing, but it can help you. Bates a shot from the 103. Again, fix your gun. There's no reason not to at this point because you're going to want to try to snipe weak spots on this 103. Maybe the top of his turret or that hatch right there would have been good, but we're just auto-aiming. 
The good news here is you're slightly looked down on that upper plate. He gets his gun out of the way for you, thankfully, and you'll put a shot right through him. And now there are four tanks. So think about what was going on down in the south where Amerikovka was. Those tanks have been beat up pretty bad. He had, I don't know, five, maybe seven friends down there, and now there's only two. But he went back, helped the TDs clean up the push into the cap, ensured that his cap was no longer in danger, and now he can flex back to the other flank, which was going to be a stalemate anyway. And here they come. I'll just go fast speed. He comes down here. He's going to see the 5041 who bounces one. The guy takes a couple shots, and now he's going to head all the way down here to the other flank, where the 103 and the T30 are still futzing around with a RHM and now a 268. Now, understandably, they don't want to get blapped by the 268, but there's two of these guys here. Come on, man. What on earth are you guys doing? All right, there's the uh, T5041. Puts a shot on him. 268, going to come around the corner and just no respect and why. I've got the hit points, whatever, hit me. Guy shoots him with HE, you got to be kidding me. Gets around him. Doesn't worry about his commander. We don't need no stinking commander. Takes out the 268 or helps take out the 268 and now he pushes up here and, here and gets some more damage. One on the 5041 and now that guy's dead. So Amerikafia took his tank to the critical terrain. Helped fight in that southern area. Once he won, noticed that his cap was being threatened. Went back that way and helped a couple TDs take out the guys who were threatening the cap. And then flexed all the way back to the stagnated front and helped bust through there. So pretty fantastic job. Yeah, 2400 damage. Was it the most epic damage game ever? No. Was he doing the right thing nearly the whole time in that game? Absolutely. A couple little tactical things you could clean up, such as don't give your side armor if you can avoid it. But... Nice job, man. Good job looking at, at the situation on the map and flexing appropriately. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, make sure you subscribe, support the channel, all that kind of stuff, and we will see you.